This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today I want to talk about cockroaches. Um, I want to talk about how to get rid of them effectively, what you need to do to ensure that you are successful at killing your cockroach infestation. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And so uh, the number one thing I want to say first before I even get into this video everything that I mention on this video I link below in the description if it's a pesticide that I talk about it's in the description if it's a, a tool used to eliminate bugs of any kind it's in the description I have an Amazon affiliate page you can go to you can find every single thing that I talk about on my videos everything I talk about in my videos I use myself in my business I have been in pest control for over 30 years and I uh, I service people's homes for a living and these are the pesticides that I use. I'm very transparent with my customers and I'm very transparent with you as my audience to let you know exactly what I use and what I don't use to get rid of bugs. Um, but today we're going to talk about cockroaches. This is what you came here for, this is what you clicked the video for, this is what you're trying to learn about. So cockroaches are something that are very difficult. Uh, people talk about them all the time. Oh, they'll be here even after your nuclear war. They were here before us. They, were, they will always be here. Cockroaches have an ability to adapt. This is the problem. This is what makes them the hardest to kill to get rid of. Um, you go to Walmart and you look at the things on the shelf, all the different pesticides on the shelves that they have, and they'll have cockroaches on the label. You could find cockroach pesticide at Kroger, you know, Giant Foods, all these different places, you can find cockroach spray because it is a problem that plagues Americans every day. And what, I mean, the thing is though, people buy these sprays and they take them home and they spray them. Uh, but why, why do they still have roaches? Why do you still have roaches? Maybe you've got roaches. Maybe that's why you click this video because you can't figure out why you can't kill roaches. Why isn't the pesticide you buy at the store, why isn't it killing roaches? And the reason that is, is because roaches build a resistance and in sometimes an immunity to pesticides. Pesticides are something, so, so the nymph brooch, when it hatches out of its egg, it's just a baby. It's not full grown, it's not an adult, it's not ready to make babies itself. But they have this chemical in their body that makes them immune to chemicals. A lot of times when you go and you treat as a pest control technician, you find a lot of babies, but you don't find very many adults because as the roaches age, as they get older, that uh, chemical in their body that, that allows them to become immune to pesticides, it dissipates. And so you're able to kill the adult population, but the babies are still there and you still have a problem. So there's, I mean, that's, that's considered a resistance or an immunity. But what happens when you spray a roach and it just doesn't die at all, no matter how old it is, whether it's an adult or a baby or whatever, this is also immunity. So what happens is if you use a pesticide and a pesticide is labeled to be used on cockroaches and you spray cockroaches with this chemical and it doesn't kill them, what that means is that the cockroach generationally, its mother, grandmother, you know, great-great-grandmother, uh, was also sprayed with the same pesticide and they didn't die either. So they were genetically immune to the chemical from birth, from, from hatching, from eggs. And they pass that gene to their babies. And then the babies grow up and they pass that gene to their babies. And eventually you get a breed of cockroach that can't be killed by that specific pesticide anymore. It takes about 90 days. Bayer, the company, you know, that makes pesticides and, and aspirin and all kinds of different things, they actually did a study that proved that it only took about 90 days to develop a completely chemically immune cockroach to a certain pesticide. Typically, this is caused by using a undermixed chemical. 
This is why I talk every single video. It's very important that you read the labels of your pesticides. And if the label instructs you to use a certain chemical concentration to get rid of cockroaches, and it will, usually a pesticide label, when you mix your own pesticide, says right on the label, for a clean out of cockroaches, use this volume. And it's usually like double strength of what the normal volume is to spray just a regular you know, general pest control application. Now it's not that way with every pesticide, but it is that way with quite a few. And so the problem is, is that people are using weak concentrations in their home. Now I'm not instructing you to go out and mix two, three, four times the normal dose to kill cockroaches. You don't need to do that. And you also don't need to hurt yourself. That's, that ups your chance of harming yourself with a pesticide. You mix per label. If the label says one ounce per gallon to kill German cockroaches, that's the way you mix it. So today we're going to be talking about uh, different pesticides that I use and that I have used in the past to get rid of roaches. Um, baits. Baits are a very effective way to kill cockroaches. Sprays are a very effective way to kill cockroaches. Even dust, like boric acid, is a very effective way to kill cockroaches. What's not effective are bug bombs. If you go to the store and you buy a bug bomb to try to kill your roaches because it says roach tick and flea or roach bed bug and flea or whatever on the bug bomb, um, you're not going to kill your cockroaches. That stuff doesn't work on cockroaches. It will kill whatever's crawling out on the counter. But the problem with cockroaches is they have a desire to crawl into a crack. They like their feet and their back touching a surface at all times. They feel safe. They feel comfortable. That's the way they like to do it. They like to be in a tight space. If you go into your kitchen and you flip your light on at night, the roaches crawl into the crack. They try to get away from the light and crawl into a crack. If you use a bug bomb in your house or a fogger, the chemical is not getting into the crack. The cracks are where you need to treat to kill roaches. This is the number one, the number one mistake that people make, that I've noticed that people make when I go into their home and see that they've been trying to kill cockroaches on their own, yet they still have cockroaches, is they'll have a box of those bug bombs out. They might have set off three or four. Oh, and they'll talk about it. They'll brag about how I just fogged them, and I just, man, it was so bad in here. I couldn't even be in here because you're not supposed to. Sell off a bug bomb. It can kill you if you stay in there with it. But they've been using these bug bombs and saying, I bombed them, and then I bombed them again, and then I bombed them again, and I just can't get rid of them. And they act like they've dropped some kind of an atom bomb inside their kitchen, but that's absolutely not what's going on. The chemical is getting all over your counters, all over your ceiling, all over your walls. But the one place it's not getting is in the crack. It's, you've got to force the chemical into the crack. You need a sprayer. And I've got all this, like I said, on Amazon. Just go to Amazon and look, look at the stuff I got. But you get a sprayer with a pin stream tip. And you spray inside the crack. In the crack. You know, if your splash block goes up against the wall behind your kitchen sink, spray down behind that crack. You know, empty out all of your cabinets and spray all the cracks all the way around to where the cabinets join together, where the wood actually joins together and forms a crack. Treat in those cracks. Roaches live in those cracks. Where the countertop sits on top of your cabinet doors, treat in that crack. That's a crack that needs to be treated. So you need to make sure that you're treating as many cracks as possible. It's a crack and crevice treatment. So when I was young, I was probably 12, 13 years old. Um, and we were driving me and my dad. My dad was driving, of course. I was just riding. But he was talking to me about pest control because I've been in pest control since I was a kid. And, he's, and we had just done a really bad cockroach infestation. Now he's in the kitchen and he's spraying in the cracks. And the roaches are coming, pouring out like water, flowing across the ceiling, falling on the floor by the thousands. I mean, there are so many cockroaches in that kitchen just raining off the ceiling like a downpour. In fact, I was treating in the, uh, in the bathroom and I heard them fly and I thought maybe it had actually started raining outside and it wasn't supposed to rain. It was, I looked out the window, it was bright and sunny. And so it was actually 
the cockroach is raining off the ceiling causing that racket in the kitchen and we were talking about that on the way home and my dad's like you know jason if you can kill cockroaches like i can kill cockroaches you'll have, you'll always be able to feed yourself because nobody understands how to kill cockroaches and the more into pest control you know that i was 12 maybe 11 years old i was little but you know i'm 40 now and in nothing weighs more true to me even today people still 30 years later don't know how to kill cockroaches and so you know you you the biggest mistake people make is not putting enough chemical in the crack you know the, another lesson my dad taught me was if there's a crack you haven't treated be guaranteed next month when you come in to treat that house for roaches those roaches will be inside that crack so if you put a pesticide in the crack where the roaches want to live they're not going to be able to live there and so you want to treat as many as possible be very thorough like i said pull everything out of your cabinets treat in the cabinets every crack in the cabinet treat in them you don't have to spray the whole cabinet you don't have to fan spray everything in fact most labels prohibit broadcast treatment of stuff like that you just need to treat in the cracks don't overuse the chemical you don't have to you know over apply it this is what we're trying to talk about i'm trying to talk about a way to do this safely so you're not gonna you know you got to put your food back in that cabinet you know you don't want spray all over your cabinet so treat in the cracks treat in the crevices treat around water pipes under the sink german cockroaches are attracted to water so treat areas that you know like water pipes condensation things like that and you can use a bait for this so this is where we talk about baiting for cockroaches you only want to use a very small amount the label will usually say a pea size amount which is not very much very small amount of bait for roaches you don't want to stream lines upon lines upon lines of that stuff all over your wall and it looks like like brown doo-doo or something on the wall it's nasty it's gross and and it's not correctly done you know if anything put a don't now don't spray your bait if you put a little bit of bait in a crack where you see roaches live and you'd rather bait them in that crack don't spray in that crack because just like you wouldn't want me to spray your dinner with pesticide the roaches don't want you spraying their dinner with pesticide either the the, the bait has pesticide in it it doesn't need any more so make sure you don't spray your bait with wherever you put it but cracks work the best if you could put some in a crack around a hinge or something inside your cabinets that's really effective around water pipes where the pipes join together is a really effective place to to put your bait uh, because the roaches will squeeze in and, and try to cram into those areas um, you want to try to treat around water heaters open the little uh where the thermostat goes in your water heater there should be a top panel and a bottom panel with a little screw that holds it open i mean it holds it shut up on there take those off and put a little bait up behind there that's a really good place to bait roaches because roaches not only are they attracted to water but they're also attracted to heat sources and electrical appliances um take those stupid things out of the wall that emit sonic waves because they don't work in fact, if you've got those in your house and you have a cockroach problem, the cockroaches more than likely are living in those things. Those things do not work. They are a gimmick. They are a, a scam. They're just a way to steal your money. So don't buy them. Don't use them. If you've got them, throw them away. They're garbage. If anything, they're going to make your problem worse. So I hope I've gone over enough in this video to explain how to get rid of cockroaches effectively. You want to treat at least once a month, monthly, for six months. Um, cockroach eggs, I usually tell people, if you haven't had a cockroach or seen a cockroach in 90 days, you're typically cockroach-free. Um, it can take an egg up to 90 days to hatch. Most of them hatch within 28 days, but sometimes you'll have one that will last longer, that'll go a whole month and a half, two months, maybe even three months without hatching and those are the ones that reinfest so like i say you'll want to make sure that you give it at least a monthly treatment up to 90 days after your last roach sighting just to ensure that you get rid of all their offspring and every roach is dead in the house don't bring them back in it's really important if you know how you got roaches if it was a family member or a friend don't let them come over if it was a restaurant don't go back there 
don't get Chinese takeout. You know, the, the, this is a big mistake I see people make. I used to do a restaurant that it was a Chinese restaurant, and it was, I mean, and I'm not just ragging on Chinese restaurants. This was just the nastiest restaurant I've ever been in my life, but there are other restaurants I wouldn't eat at either, McDonald's and stuff like that, because they have roaches. Um, there was a, a Pizza Hut in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, that I never would eat in because it was infested with cockroaches. It's In fact, it's not even a Pizza Hut anymore. It was, but it's not anymore, um, probably because they had roaches. But, uh, but anyway, it, it, you know, there was this Chinese restaurant that I used to service, and they had one of the worst cockroach infestations before I started servicing them. I mean, this is the reason they hired me is because they had roaches so bad. But it was one of the worst roach-infested places I've ever been in in my life. And one of my customers was getting cockroach. I mean, they were bringing cockroaches in from that restaurant. And I told her, I said, you can't eat restaurant. You can't eat there. You, you're bringing roaches. Don't you realize you're bringing roaches in your house? And she's like, but the food is just so good. I got to have it. I got to have it. It's so good. I love their food. And I'm like, but there, there's roaches in their food. You know, there's roaches in their food. Maybe you like the taste of cockroaches. That's what I told her. I said, maybe you just like the way roaches taste. But that's what's making the food taste funny is the roaches that are in it. And so, you know, if you know full well of a restaurant that has cockroaches, stop eating there. All right? Y'all have a good day. I appreciate it. And uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow me on YouTube. Be sure to come and visit me on Thursday nights when I do my live streams every Thursday after 9 o'clock after the kids are in bed. I usually jump on and talk to you, answer your questions. If you have any questions and you need them answered now, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'm always available. I read every single comment on every video. So y'all have a real great day. I really appreciate it. And remember, be safe. Follow your labels. Don't disobey the label. I know the roaches are aggravating you and they're annoying you, but... Don't mix the chemical too strong. You don't need to. You will get rid of your roaches. Just listen to me and follow my advice, and you will be successful at getting rid of your roaches. Y'all have a great day. I appreciate it. And wherever you are, enjoy life. Thanks.